Today, mankind gets a view of the universe that no one has ever seen before. Galaxies over 10 billion light years away. Light that left these galaxies well before our solar system even came into existence. And for the first time, we are unveiling this. <laughs> this is going to be cool. Yeah. Okay, that was just rude. Rude, okay? We're looking at an image of the universe that nobody has ever seen before, and now I... Nobody's watching anymore, are they? No one? Elon, you attention-hogging son of a... So as most of us know by now, yesterday was a day of alarm and confusion. And by the way, as always, this footage is being sent to us by Lab Padre. Please check out their channel, subscribe, and also have a look at their weekly reports from Boca Chica, a very good channel. But a still frame of what was happening was sent to Elon Musk, just a little bit of flame underneath the booster, and he responded saying that there was booster engine testing going on. However, that tweet was later deleted and it was made very clear that something very serious had taken place at the pad. Obviously not tremendously serious, but bad enough to send out a shockwave and to cause repercussions in South Padre Island over eight kilometers away. The CBS affiliate in the area interviewed a fellow by the name of Michael Sulars, and he told them that the blast, quote, felt like a truck rammed into his home, unquote. On top of that, he said that his neighbors felt, quote, the earth moving boom as well. Quote, it made my legs go up while on the sofa. We ran outside thinking we'd see a road accident. So this was not a small explosion. You could actually visibly see the shockwave going out. And I will be very surprised if there isn't some kind of significant damage, either on the engines, the booster, the pad, or something. If it escapes any serious damage, that is a testament to the resilience of this vehicle and to the launch tech and everything else involved, but also a number of secondary fires broke out and may have been exacerbated by an emergency fuel dump. But once again, a lot of this stuff is speculation based on the commentary from people who watch this stuff on a regular basis. I don't watch it in as much detail as some, so I recommend that you check in with partners such as Lab Padre and others who do very good reporting on this sort of thing. But this is what I report on. In my opinion, SpaceX dodged a major bullet yesterday. They experienced an explosion that was powerful enough to affect people in South Padre Island. The explosion was not planned. There was not supposed to be an ignition of any kind. Instead, what we got, apparently, at least from the cryptic information we've received from Elon Musk thus far, is a fuel-air explosion and there did appear to be a lot of venting going on right before the blast, suggesting that a spark may have simply ignited a well-mixed gas of methane and oxygen, a very nasty combination if exposed to the wrong conditions at the wrong time, which is what apparently happened yesterday. But it happened on a very small scale. There really wasn't a whole lot of this gas that was set off at that particular moment, and none of it managed to cause an explosion that was serious enough to affect the booster causing any sort of breach. If there had been a breach with all that fire around at the same time, and more methane started to escape 
escape, we might have had a full-fledged explosion on the pad. That is to say, a blast that would have involved hundreds of tons worth of flammable, explosive liquids and gases, as opposed to the small amount of gases that was involved yesterday, which certainly would have destroyed the booster and caused a lot more consequences in South Padre Island. In my opinion, this was a bit of a wake-up call, and yes again, I'm showing you the N1 explosion, because it bears keeping in mind that N1, only about 15% of the fuel on that rocket actually exploded, and the rest of it was involved in a vast conflagration that consumed a very large area of Kazakhstan. But Kazakhstan is not South Padre Island. Kazakhstan is not South Texas. And if we have something similar to N1 take place there, as I've said many times, the local population is not going to be as understanding as the Soviet military was at Star City. So today, or rather yesterday, SpaceX had an opportunity to see what the potential consequences of a serious anomaly might be in small scale, and hopefully this encourages them to proceed with extreme caution in the future. This may also have revealed some problems, some dangers in the design that need to be rectified, which is a large part of how SpaceX does things, and although I encourage this push it until it breaks solution most of the time, when it comes to a rocket this big that has such a massive explosive potential, I think we need to have a bit of a different philosophy, and I really do believe that SpaceX intends to pursue this because a major explosion in Boca Chica is going to slow things down to a crawl. The FAA, local environmental organizations that I'm telling you are itching for something like this to happen. They are praying for something like this to happen so they can get the local population on their side. We don't need any of that. I want to see this rocket launch. I want to see it launch safely, and I want to see it launch without any administrative or safety-related nonsense, which definitely will come up if we have a serious anomaly. So hopefully what happened yesterday is going to prevent any of that from happening. In my view, it was a good thing. Better that we get these sort of things out of the way when they're small scale than to have them happen later on when the consequences are far worse. If you haven't sent in your information or rather just emailed me regarding your angry astronaut sunglasses, please do so. The email address is in the description and we will send you everything necessary to ship those sunglasses out to you. I am so grateful to all of you for participating in this. In this. I am down to 27 pairs left out of the original 250. You guys killed it on that product. Thank you so much. And for the rest of you, please like, please subscribe, please support this channel so I can keep, th keep this content coming. And as always, stay angry about space.